Now, a while back, I did a couple of videos on this little pedal right here. This is the Stratus from Chaos Audio. It is a pretty cool little pedal, multi-effects unit and pedal board all in one pedal. Well, one of the beauties of this thing is that it can be constantly updated with a USB right here and firmware. So today we're gonna to take a look at their latest update and talk about some of the ones that are coming up. This time they've added not only presets, but the ability to switch between 14 of them while you're playing. Welcome back. I'm Tony. And yeah, this little pedal is very cool. It's only $249. They've actually reduced the price since when I first got one. And while it might not be a Tone Master Pro in its abilities and all the different bells and whistles, this pedal is effectively a multi effects unit and a pedal board all in one. Now, if you haven't seen my initial video on this or the other update I did to show one of the new effects, that link is popping up right here. In that original video, I show how to set it up, unboxing it and how to use it. Basically, this does have an app, which I'm going to show you where you can actually graphically see all of your pedals. I gotta tell you, the guys that have worked on these pedals have done a great job with the graphics. It's like everything is very consistent and the, the effects actually sound really good. I'm doing something a little different with this today. I've run it through effects loops. I've run it through the front of an app but I haven't run it on an FRFR speaker. So that's what I'm gonna do. The Spark Cab is an FRFR speaker. So everything that you're gonna hear is this plugged directly into the FRFR. Or I should say Spark Cab. Very simple design. You've got one switch right there and this knob is also a switch. They posted something on Instagram the other day that I thought was pretty interesting. There is a new Line 6 HX1 that is out and that sells for $299. So the verse is on that $249 versus $299. And you can see all the green check marks there for the Chaos Audio Stratus full FX chain, intuitive UI, looping with effects. Yes, this does have a looper on it. Amp and cab models coming soon and native plugin compatibility coming soon. And the Line 6 HX1 has none of those. And then from their website, amps coming soon to Stratus, high quality AI models with volume and gain control, just like the real amp. They're working with Ida DSP apparently on that. High quality models with volume and gain control, just like the real amp. The plugins utilize a AI capturing the volume or gain knob in various positions and allowing the AI to figure out the rest. This gives you full control for each channel that we modeled with the plugins. So I'm really interested to see what they do with that. Well, let's dig right into it. Let me show you the app and how you get everything set up and we'll give you a little demo of it in action. By the way, the guitar that I'm using today is, well, she's a beauty. This is the LTD Deluxe MH1000ET ET for Evertune. And uh, well, you know, I got this a little while ago directly from Evertune, purchased it when they had a sale going on. And oh, man, I just love this guitar. I will be doing some content on this thing specifically too. All right, so when you open your app, you've got the store, and then you've also got your library over here. And in your library, you've got presets. And in the presets, you'll see that I've got a bunch of them in here. There's only two that I created, zero and one. I got Ulick and Metal Delay. I decided to just start from scratch because I wanted to play with these presets. These top two though, I did not get from presets. I started those myself. I got Ulick is actually one that I'm working on for a cover of the song I Got You from Split Ends. And then we've got Metal Delay. And on these, you can go through and see what each one of them are. We'll go back to the library and the presets. And then if you wanna import them, I've got them on my files from Apple. I don't wanna do that though. I've got a couple of different ones there. And then you can export them, no problem at all. So that's pretty cool. You can save them on a Google Drive or whatever. So all those presets are in there. And of course you've got your pedal board and you can see what each one of the presets does. Over here is where you're gonna scan for devices and all that, but you can see all of that in the original video. Now, of course, if you pulled up one of these presets, ain't talking about love from Van Halen, you can see the pedals that are involved with it and you can go in there and tweak each one of those pedals. So that is, uh, that's also a good thing. Now, for the purposes of being able to switch between your effects, what you would do is you're gonna set them up so that they're next to each other, okay? So for example, ain't talking about love into shimmer reverb. So when you're gonna switch back and forth between those two effects and you'll see in just a minute. So, so you can reorder them just by grabbing the little handles that are over here and moving them back and forth. And then you would sync it to Stratus And now that that's synced, they're in the order that you put them in. All right, so right now the pedal is in stomp box mode. So clean and affected. OK, 
Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to take it out of that mode and we're going to put it into live mode. We'll hold this button down until it comes on. Okay, so now we've got a few effects here. I can go clean or without the delay or with the delay. And then we can go like this and turn the knob. It's, it's pretty much all the same effects here, except for clean now. So you know, you could be doing something. And then. Yeah, so the delay may be not the best thing for that type of thing, but now you get the point with that. Right, and then you can roll over to another one here. All right, so that's all within that. Basically, that's the pedal that I had set up, that pedal board. Okay, but if I do this and I hold down the knob, I'm gonna hold it until all the lights come on. Now you see we've got a whole bunch of lights here, right? And then if I hit this, boom. So it's going between the first two settings. If you remember, I had the settings in there in the presets and you can order them how you want them to be ordered. So it's teaming those two up right there, right? And then we're gonna go to the next one. It's a shimmer reverb. So it's kind of an A-B situation. So we've got a shimmer reverb. And then we go, and now we've got a little cleaner. I actually created that preset to do the song I Got You from Split Ends. pretty cool and then we'll go to the next one and remember these are based on how you set them up how you ordered them all right go to the next one you know obviously this is all stuff you would set up before you do your gig you could have all of your songs on here basically well at least an a b for all the songs that you're going to do next one i just realized that my guitar is hitting my microphone so sorry about that so i left all these presets as is you can go in there and tweak all of your settings and stuff like that and then save those presets and resync it with the Stratus. But I wanted you to hear what the presets that they made sounded like. You know, if you like that one, you could add a distortion pedal to it or something like that, so. So yeah, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to go through there and set up all of your stuff in the presets thing, sync it up. If you were doing a gig, you'd be like, all right, I got these songs. Let me make sure that everything is good. Once it is, you're good to go. You don't have to plug it back onto your app or anything like that. You just use it. So this is a cool little pedal with a nice community to it. And I'm guessing that they'll probably start allowing maybe some kind of a, um, I don't know, an exchange between users to upload presets and share them and all that kind of stuff. And as it is now, I think you can just export one of them and then send it to your friend. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Again, this time I used the Spark Cab. It's an FRFR speaker. So this was just plugged directly into that no other amplifiers or anything like that. That makes it pretty versatile. A lot of the effects that are on here are perfect for like worship music and stuff. If you're doing, you know, if you're playing in a church band or something like that, 
I'm sure you could have a field day with this, but it works for just about any genre. I mean, there's, there's different tones in there for everything and you can dial your stuff in exactly how you want. I like the presets. I think it's really cool that they provide that because if you've never used pedals before, if you're like, well, I'm going to get this and this will be my one pedal to do all my stuff, but you don't know how to adjust things. Well, it's kind of, or how to chain them together for that matter, because you, you got to pretty much know how your pedals are going to chain together. Well, you could take a look at these presets and use them as templates, adjust them, save them as a different name uh, and use them for yourself. Or you can just use them as they are and adjust them to your liking. Now, previous to this update, you'd have to use something like this. This is a air turn, which is a Bluetooth uh, MIDI device and you'd have to have your phone plugged into it or the the, uh, the pedal itself and it was, it was pretty complicated and to be honest with you I never really figured it out right so I was like I saw this and I said oh <laughs> that's what we need right there without bending over you're basically going to get two effects per each one of those lights but I suppose you could use your foot put it on that knob and just turn it that kind of thing in between song uh, you know whatever so I don't know if this is the best application for live use but I've seen people using them live, so there you go. Now, I just recently got the Tone Master Pro. It sells for around $1,600, but I got it when it was on sale. Fender had their big sale going on, so it's really, really nice. Sure, it's more complete, but it's big. It's, this, is, this is a very big unit and costs a whole lot more than $249. Personally, I really like the pedal, and if I need a lightweight setup, this would work great. If I'm just going to be busking or something like that, eh, there you go. One pedal, FRFR speaker, and you're done. And Chaos Audio, the developers, are really, really proactive. Landon, is a, a he's a young guy. I'm, I'm not even sure if he's out of college yet. Did this as a Kickstarter, and he's really passionate about it. He's put a lot of work into this thing, and I, I just I think they've done a fantastic job. So that is Chaos Audio Stratus, and that is the update. You can now do a lot more with your Stratus, and if you don't have one, I'm gonna put a link down in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. I want to thank you so, so much for your support here in the channel. It's been around since 2013, always included my passions, and over the last two and a half, three years, I decided, you know what, it's time for me. I've been telling my friends to do guitar channels because I was pretty busy with my channel, but I was like, wait a minute, if there's one thing Thing I want to be busy with that's guitar so I'm gonna start including my guitar passion on here I've been playing since I was 12 13 years old so I just really really do appreciate your support with that and if you haven't checked out my other content I've got electric skateboard scooters bikes all kinds of stuff on here including portable solar power yeah I guess you could say I'm kind of an electric type of guy so if you like what you see hit the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet there is a red subscribe button down there and notification bell click both of those you'll get notifications when I upload new videos uh, you also notice that there's a thanks button down below this video if you're so inclined want to toss a couple bucks my way that'd be great it is not inexpensive to run these channels so every penny counts either way I'm just glad that you're here and thank you for watching well that's gonna do it for this episode we'll catch you next time on the vapor trail channel